Hey guys, Kurinji here, once again bringing you the worst out of the VTuber community. And today's topic is pretty much hot news, straight off the presses. It's production kawaii and news again. I don't usually do this type of news related content, but if the news involves something dramatic, let's say doxing, like th in this case, and I'm all over that since this is, this is normal VTuber agency news, but Without further ado, let's get right into it. Production Kawaii official important announcement regarding violation of privacy of our VTuber. Thank you for your continuous support of our of us and our belonging VTubers. Currently, some people are violating the privacy and the safety of I Isla Coleman by attempting to obtain and disclose her personal information such as her name, address, etc. Isla feels threatened by uh, and deeply hurt. We are providing emotional care and support to Isla, but we determine that we cannot ensure her safety and security. We have no choice but to stop her activities. Violating her privacy and safety of others is unacceptable. We strongly condemn such acts and will take strict response. In addition, as a result of discussions with the lawyer, we have decided to take both criminal and civil legal actions. We'll continue to provide an, uh, a safe and secure work environment to our VTubers and would like to continue to create and distribute content that you can enjoy. We appreciate your continuous understanding and cooperation. Aloy Incorporated Kyosuke Kinoshita, CEO. And with that statement, Isla Coleman also had a statement of her own to, to make that clarified a lot of the news that were related by Production Kawaii's official Twitter. Regarding the statement, regarding the statement, hello everyone, this is Isla Coleman. I'm not good at talking about serious stuff, but I think it's important for me to come forward with my perspective on what's been going on. I spent nearly two years as part of production Kawaii, and while I had so many amazing experiences, this is something that's been weighing me down for quite some time now. I may not say it often, but I do care about my fans. I've opened up to you and talked about so many things. I have expected my feelings to be respected, but to know some of these people who have called themselves my fans have pri pride you to my personal business, ignoring boundaries that have been clearly established and causing problems for me and people I care about is a breach of the very trust I've placed in them. I built in a lot of work to make my streams a sp uh, positive environment so everyone can have fun together. But dealing with this invasion of my right to privacy has made it difficult for me to keep smiling through it, even when I have so many things to be happy and excited about. I want my community to be safe and a place for all of you to be in, as well as for me to interact with. As a creator, I am entitled to my personal life and there are things that I am not obligated to share while I am in Kauai. I am very disappointed that these call knights, those whose names contributions I remember from my chat and community, I've been sharing my personal information like it's a trophy to be proud of, but in reality it has greatly impacted my mental well-being. I want to enjoy myself and my time with all of you. I can only hope that going forward we can build a community filled with mutual understanding and respect. I'd like to put this behind me and bring you, you all joy with my content. And I hope you understand the measures I'll be taking to ensure I and my audience can feel safe and happy. Following that statement, Nene Amano from Production Kawaii also made her own. Please respect VTubers' privacy and safety and do not de delve into their personal information. These kinds of actions are extremely scary and demotivating to the talent. Keep it to, uh, to enjoying them as streamers and entertainers. No reason to dive deeper than that. Please give Isla the love and support she deserves. And of course this uh, pretty much be the end of the story if I didn't dig, dig uh, a bit deeper than that. But there are some people claiming that no. Who these doxers actually are, a apart from the fact that Isla mentioned that they were part of an her fan base uh, as Call Knights. Uh, 4chan's official VT thread on production Kawi PKG has a, a few um, anons talking about it, as I even making this video right now. But some of them claim to have, have uh, known the doxers. Well, let's take a look at their statements as well. I've known this has been going on for a while, Kekvu. I, I know the cul culprit, uh, cul culprit. No, but I know three of the culprits. Discord t -slurs? Yes, they are part of a dog sand called and, and generate free, free traders. To be accurate, the recovery 
uh, FAG tourists from the General Freds joined the Discord to spy slash collect inf info and, and they want to went to Twitter. This is why I stay away from Discord. This is why I left Discord, LMAO. I li literally got docs from the unofficial Discord and threatened because of, of docs and BS. And then s same dude uh, blamed me for generation 3 grad kick wound. They get, get some major schizo fucks there, LMAO. As this thread is going on, there's probably going to be more information available on the, in there, but once again, 4chan is a place where a lot of people post all kinds of stuff, so take that with a grain of salt. But believing uh, that Discord doxing factories do exist, because yeah, there are people like that, that uh, basically collude in order to get on people's cases. I've seen Discord like that before. I mean, I covered the whole stream where uh, there was a Discord dedicated to basically a logging Pipkin uh, Pipa of Face Connect. So this is not an unbelievable statement to make. But how accurate all of this is, is uh, up to you guys to figure out and for me to look into uh, as well in the future. If any m more news on this comes up, I'll be sure to update this video at least in the comments section but for now that's everything and i hope to see you on the next one